Hi, I'm Dave Good here on Good Ski Lake. I want to talk a little bit about a new invention called the bubble buoy. Uh, in October of last year, I uh, hit two buoy at 38 off and actually broke my ankle and uh, thought about all winter what to do to create a little safer buoy so it won't send your ski in the air uh, when you hit it. And we came up with the bubble buoy. So the bubble buoy has no compressed air in it. And as you can see, if you were to hit it, it's very soft compared to a normal buoy that has uh, uh, compressed air inside. Um, this is attached uh, just via a line. Uh, there's some sub buoy flotation, which is part of the system. The water line comes up to about this seam area, and uh, we put on the outside water comes to this area. All right, so when the buoy gets attached to its uh, sub buoy or anchor, it's placed into the water as such. You can see that it tends to float a little bit high. And we do what we call burp the buoy. You let out a certain amount of uh, air to get it the right height. Uh, regulation is one uh, inch above the seam line will give us the AWSA and IWF standards. And that's how the bubble, bubble buoy is uh, set to float. Uh, Nick Parsons, uh, currently ranked number one on the elite standing list. Congratulations, Nick. Okay. Yeah. Um, you've kind of seen the bubble buoy get uh, developed here. Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Uh, the bubble buoy is great. I mean, it's almost done to water skiing what the breakaway gate did for snow skiing. You can almost take a tighter arc for and without risk of injuries. Great. Great. Yeah. Nice. And then last year you saw us uh, working on the power buoy. And uh, I think you had a comment about how when the buoys are lit at night, your perception is better than skiing at dark. And you've been at some night finals. Right. Um, I've done some night finals without power buoys and with. And it's almost like when the buoy is lit up, you, you maintain focus or have a more intense focus when it's lit up. Okay. And at times you can almost ski better. It's, it's, a, it's a strange feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I think as you mentioned, your depth perception, you're not skiing buoy to buoy so much. Right. It's, it's all black. You know, it's, it's mostly black and it's just a solid globe of, of orange and yeah. you get pretty focused in. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah. It's pretty cool. So what we did is uh, last year's uh, power buoy was designed a little differently. We had a uh, buoy with compressed air, but in order to outfit the bubble buoy, uh, Nick, if you want to hold that real quick, uh, well, I'll go ahead and insert. We've got the power buoy option, which we take a uh, LED underwater flashlight and uh, attach it in this manner and uh, turn it on. And so it can turn a regular bubble buoy right into a power buoy. And uh, so it's, uh, it's easy, it's affordable, and it is, um, you know, easy to maintain, which is which is nice. Uh, we do something similar with uh, the boat guide gates. Uh, Nick, would you mind grabbing a, a yellow or a green one? Yeah. So for the boat guide gates to light up for the power buoy, we we do a similar thing. We have uh, uh, again a very high quality underwater flashlight that pulls in this manner and uh, lights the boat guide gates, the 55 meters, and uh, we use bubble buoys for the start gates and uh, the skier turn balls. So, great. Nick, as a pro skier, you've been in a number of night finals. Um, I think this year, what, you have at least three that I know of, or maybe more, that are scheduled. You're, you're yeah, mark. it's definitely a, a new trend um, to uh, kind of attract crowds. Uh, I think a night type of event is, is more attractive. So they have gone to uh, yeah, using the power buoy for, for to light up the course, which looks really cool, and they're a fun event. Yes, great. So you're locked this year. We've got both pro tours. I know the big dog down in Houston is going to be using them for a night event. Um, I think it is definitely gaining popularity. And for those uh, skiers that maybe are getting home late in the evening uh, and want to ski and when it's dusk, uh, I think the power buoy would be a good option for them too. Yeah, I didn't think of that, but that, that definitely is a, a notable idea. I mean, yeah, there's, I, there's been times where you don't like fall and spring when uh, there's not as much light. I mean, people are still working until 6.30 or whatever it is. Yep. 
takes an hour drive wherever to get the lake and you can turn those lights on and ski it at dusk. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, super. That's it. Uh, thank you, Nick, for your comments. And again, great, great skiing this year.